Hello and welcome back to my workshop for another Paris Jetty Clinic videos and this is a video on request. I've had a request that can you set up the radio for a three channel model such as a rudder elevator spoiler glider, rudder elevator throttle power model so that you can both use aileron and rudder sticks in case your brain sort of defaults to using the rudder stick instead of the aileron stick to drive the, the rudder and you're thinking straight away well it's a bit blooming easy isn't it just do a mix aha uh -huh. but if you mix you will uh, risk overdriving the servo beyond its normal uh, travel limits that you've set up if you happen to use both sticks at the same time. So there's a sneaky way we can stop that happening. And it relies on uh, something I did for a video ooh, a couple of months ago called smooth demixing. But uh, we're going to swap some of the functions around and show what happens. So let's dive ourselves in and see how to do this name. We'll call it A. OK, model type is Aero. There we go. Uh, no f wing type. You can't get rid of Aileron. We don't really want to. Oops, a daisy. So we'll just carry on for the moment. Now we're going to swap these around. Uh, we'll put Aileron uh, out of our way onto what would normally be, uh, for me, the rudder stick, P3. So we clear that, wiggle P3, say OK, and bring the rudder over to what would normally be the aileron stick, which is P1. There we go. And fine. We've done that. Carry on. OK. Create an activate model. Da, da, da. No. OK. What else can we do? Well, we can pop into fine tuning, digital trim. And uh, we can see that this is trimming the rudder. That will trim the ailerons. So that's fine. So. Uh, the right hand stick P1, which for me normally would be uh, aileron, because I'm a m m stick mode 2 flyer, uh, is now the rudder. So it's the rudder channel, rudder servo and everything will make sense when we're dealing with those. Uh, the ailerons, uh, we're just going to leave it there on the left hand stick, which for me would normally be the rudder stick, uh, because we'll see that we can use that then in the mix of aileron to rudder and how we go about that. OK, now there's a sneaky little thing we need to do, and that's go back and create a new function. Let's hit plus here, we'll call it the mix. OK, and it's going to be controlled by what is our rudder stick which this time is going to be, of course, P1. So there we go. Hit OK to that. Come out of here and into fine tuning. And go into the function curves. Come down to mix. Change it to a three point curve. Come down to the curve. Take the first point and set it to zero. Second point, take that up to 100. Third point, take that down to zero. All will become clear in a minute. OK to that. Right, off we can go. Mixing. Add. We're going to mix from aileron, which in this case is the left-hand stick, P3, to our rudder which in this case is, of course, the right-hand stick P1. Come to advanced, and the master value will be 100%. So far, so good. Let's have a look at what this does to the uh, servo. Now then, uh, if we just come out of there for a second, we'll clear the aileron servo out of the way because there is no such thing. So that would be rudder. That one I've done. So there we go, rudder servo. That's all we're after. And so here's our rudder servo. I'm going to move the right hand stick, P1. There we go. Uh, we've got a mix in now. So if, my, you know, in a rush, my brain reverts to thinking, oh, rudder left hand stick. 
There we go. There's P3 moving it. Now the snag comes when, if for some reason my brain moves both of them, you see we can end up at 125% either way, uh, which is not what we wanted. And the way we get rid of that is in the mixing. So we edit that. And what we're going to use now is a, for a switch is not an on-off switch, but a proportional control. And we're going to use that uh, mix control that we made. And that's why we made it that funny curve with zero at the, uh, 100 at the middle and zero at the edges. So we come into here, switch, plus... Uh, and we're not going to use the stick, you see, we're going to use the function, which was the mix function. You see, the mix function at the moment is at 100%, because it's coming off the P1, or the rudder stick. If I move, you see the mix function is now outputting 0 at full left stick, 100 in the middle, and 0 at full right stick. So we're going to use that as part of the mix percentage. So we say OK. We don't want that screen because we don't want it to be switched. We want this one. So it's 100 at the centre of the stick, 0 at full left, 0 at full right. Say OK. Then there we go. Now, <clears throat> if we have a look, we've set a master value of 100. And at the moment, the actual mix value is 100. So if I was to move the uh, left-hand stick, which is now the rudder, I'd get 100% mixing. But watch what happens to this as I move the rudder stick, P1. As I push it to the left, see the actual mix value drops to zero in the end, at full left rudder. And if I move it over to the right, I get to full right rudder, and it's zero. Uh, so that is what the mixer value will be. When I have full right aileron, the mixer value will be zero. Uh, when I say full right aileron, full right rudder, <laughs> because it's the P1 stick. So moving what would now be the aileron stick, P3, will have no effect on the mix. Let's have a look. So here's our rudder. I'm going to move P1, which we've reassigned as the rudder stick. There we go. Now I'm going to move P3, which we've left as, uh, we're reassigned as the aileron stick, and because it's mixing, there we go. <clears throat> but uh, what happens now if I move both together? I'll go full left P1, full left P3. See, it only goes to minus 100. I'll now go full right P1, full right P3 together. It only goes to 100. If I let uh, P3 back to the middle... P1 is working fine either way. I put P1 at the middle. P3 works fine either way. If I go <clears throat> half right on P1 and half right on P2, you'll see they do add together. So I'm holding P1 steady, moving P3. But ultimately, adding together, they won't get past 100. And so you're not going to drive beyond the, the limits that you've set up. So there you go, there's a sneaky way of getting a nice uh, operation on both sticks for a three-function model.